Hey everybody, Amy Poncho here, and we are back in the Spirit Temple as an adult. Oops, let's pick up the rupee there. Yeah, yeah, we know that. Wait, what does that say? If you want to proceed to the past, you should return here with- what? That doesn't make sense. Oh well. Anyway, I don't know why I'm picking these up, because I don't think that we can get the uh, two over here anyway. It doesn't look like it. I don't see any way to get through that. The eyes open again. I think we need to use an arrow on that one, though. So let's get that out. That's a useful item. We always seem to be using the bow, don't we? Okay, now the eyes closed. That's great. Oh, great. Controller's shaking again. We definitely got to get that chest to appear somehow. I'm not seeing an eye switch here. I wonder if iron boots... I don't think that they would, but I'm going to try iron boots and see if I could backflip into this. Nah, it looks like they got... They're pretty well repelled when you do that. We got any more hidden switches? I wonder if hitting that again as an adult will do anything. Okay. Maybe not. I can do with up here. Oh, I see where I'm supposed to go. Let's get up there. Get up here! No. Hey, I've, I've got some uh, nice little gauntlets here I can push things with. Now we can go ahead and move this block. And this is basically a shortcut here, right back into the heart of the temple. So now we can approach that one room with the rusted switch. We can come at it from the other side. Which, I mean, is, I think it's pretty much the only way to get to it as an adult. Because we can't crawl through those little holes. Now we got three torches in here, which... I think... Can I stand right here and see all three of them? Right. I'm gonna see if I can get all three of those lit. And I, you might notice I have another... I got a blue potion. Or excuse me, a green potion. On this file as well, so... One... Two... Oh, I missed... Three! Alright. What's it gonna do? Opens a door! Alright, let's go see where that goes. What was that sound? It sounded like an enemy appeared, but I couldn't rec I didn't recognize the sound that the enemy made. Nope. I think we may need to play our Scarecrow song here. That's how it's supposed to sound. There we go. Had to use it a little while back in a classic question. It just sounded so strange. <laughs> Dude! Hookshot point! Oh! That was a ball master over there. Okay. Oh wow, I grabbed his hat. How cool is that? Alright, is this door up here? Locked. Okay. Now, is the chest there yet? Is it, if it is, I can hookshot to it. Oh, wow, we got a uh, Triforce symbol right there. I think with the hover boots I can get to that. Let's see. Get a little speed up here. Hover. Oh, we got that with no trouble. Let's see what this does. Maybe it'll make that chest drop down over there. We I mean, can hookshot right over to it. I keep calling it the hookshot. I mean, I know it's the long shot technically now, but it doesn't really make a difference to me. Oh, we got another wall master coming down on us. I'm not sure if they can come down on you if you have a like a ceiling above you or not. All right, well he's coming down one way or the other. Oh, one hit KO. Did he spawn little ones. I can't see any, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Look at that chest up here. Look, it was behind some boxes. Is it down there? I think it might be. Oh, uh... Okay. We can deal with that. Just rolled right through the box and kept sliding. Does the hover boots reduce your traction even when you roll? Oh, five rupees! That's just wonderful. Just what I wanted. Uh, incidentally, did you guys get anything that you wanted for Christmas? Or at least I hope you guys got your, you get the gifts you wanted for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. What? How late is this advice coming? We had wall masters in the last room. Maybe they just tell you that, tell you that, so that you don't get too focused on the, uh, what you call them, and uh, forget that the wall master is there. I mean, actually, that sound for me is just like an instant, like, like, oh crap, look out, wall masters, you know? Like, I just immediately respond. Man, they give us a lot of rupees in this dungeon. Would you just, would you die? I'm just gonna keep spinning attack these guys. There's one. Two more spin attacks on this guy to finish him off. 
fun, dude. Don't be an ass. Make my video too long. Gotcha. Okay. And from there... Oh, don't see anything we can interact with down there yet. And we don't have the right item to use that sunlight coming in the window. So I'm just going to leave that for now. We need to go back over to the other side anyway, don't we? Oh man, I feel like I'm getting lag or something. That was so weird just then. The game started playing funny. Like, it felt like I was like I was lagging. Like, like I had slow down or something. That's weird, because I'm running a... And, I'm not running an N64, I'm running a GameCube, so... It shouldn't have any trouble at all keeping up with the, with the, you know, the processor shouldn't have any trouble running the game. Anyway, we got a chest up here now, don't we? Let's go get that. Drove me mad! Let's see what's inside it. Ah, it's a key, thank god. If that was anything less than a, than a small key, I would have been pissed. <laughs> oh, wow, I really should have looked to make sure that there wasn't a like-like there. I am wearing the red tunic, so... That would be bad if I was eaten by a like-like. And there, of course, is why they put the other switch there. Still haven't got any of the... Dude, ouch. That's, that's gotta hurt, man. Alright. Halt! Donnerzeit! Boom! Okay. Where... Did that... Did that seriously appear out there? You're kidding me. Ugh. Man. The only way to get back to that is go all the way back to the beginning of the temple. Oh, wow. I guess that would be a good opportunity to use uh, Ferrari's Wind. You could just cast a warp point at the beginning of the temple, and then once you get that, just warp to the front of the temple and then walk back in. Or no, wait. No, you couldn't get to that as an adult, because you'd have to crawl through the hole either way to get into that room. That's very strange. Because... What the hell? How are you supposed to get in there? I guess you just can't get in there as an adult, because... I mean, there's no way to... That's very strange. There's just no way to deal with that. I, I'm, probably, I'm trying to puzzle that out in my head. I mean, if, I guess we could come back again as a kid and go open it, but... Man, how obnoxious would that be if they made you, like, come as an adult and then come back as a kid and then, you know, just, like, switching it around on us like that? That would... That would actually make me kind of mad if they did something like that. Dude, get it. Alright, well, we got our small key that we went back in there to collect, so I'm gonna go ahead and do Floor Master. <laughs> and open this door here, and we're just gonna ignore the Floor Master. Wait a minute, was there still a chest in there? I thought I saw one on the compass. There is. There is a chest there. How do I get it to appear? Ah, it's already there! It's just invisible. Nice trick, guys. How do I open it? Where's the front? There it is. It's facing backwards for some reason. Oh, I got a heart. That's nice. Have a heart! Oh, okay, and I get to play the song again, because I left the room. That's wonderful. That is one thing about the puzzles resetting when you leave the room, is that anything that you've done or to solve them also resets, so... It can be a little bit of a pain. Anyway, let's get back up to that door. Looks like I opened it and then immediately turned around. Okay, I'm a little bit worried. Ah, dude, not cool. A hookshot point. Is there one in front of me? Yep. Because we have seen one spider so far, and we haven't picked up any of them. Which is just like, oh my god! We haven't got a single spider yet? Oh, it just sort of worries me just a little bit. I'm gonna use bomb chasers. I have so freaking many of those. Why not, right? Was she just trying to tell us about the bars? Yeah, she was. Okay. I can shoot him down the tracks here, too. Oh, if I could aim it properly, maybe. Fire another one off. Oh yeah, these guys take two, right? It's, I think that I want to just kill with one hit is a small one. And, like, the larger ones, like I got right here, take two. What is going on? I think on this file, my uh, lock-on is on hold. And on the other one, it's on toggle. So it kind of gets me weirded out sometimes when I hit L and then it unlocks. And I'm like, wait, no, 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 I'm trying to fight somebody. Okay, there's all the enemies. That opens the door, and makes a chest appear. Oh, it's a small chest. I saw how big the circle was going around it. For some reason, I thought it was going to be a, a larger chest. I don't know. Oh, we got some arrows! Heck yeah! Alright, well, I think I know what song to play here. 
That's not even a puzzle anymore. We've had so freaking many of these where you would just play the song time, move some blocks around, see what we can do. Okay, they put that block down there. Fun. Oh, there's a switch over there. What does that do? Opens the door. Okay. So is that block on top of the switch and I just moved it? That's strange. Let's play the song again. I don't know, maybe it'll move it back or something, or... I don't know, it looked like Nebby was flying up high, so maybe this is something different here. Ooh, oh man, don't be yawning. Okay, this is strange. Door's locked again. What the hell? That block is definitely on that switch. It's very strange. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.